good morning, let's spend the day together. Excuse this appearance. I tried some new heatless curlers last night. <laughs> I'm not sure they're gonna work. Alfie's just having a little morning cuddle. I need to get up, feed the rabbit. I've got a 21st birthday party tonight. So I'm just gonna take you with me throughout the day and we'll spend a little cozy day together. Imagine having Sarah for breakfast. She just ran away from me this morning. Come on then. Come on, miss. There you go. Right, lady gets a treat or two this morning. Come on in. Come on, girly. There you go. Which one do you want? That one? And that one. See you later. <laughs> it's making me laugh that I literally put myself on the internet looking like this. But hopefully it's worth it because later on we should have a huge blow up. Also, I think lady's deaf. Whenever I walk in and I could literally be like saying her name like, hello lady. Sometimes she'll like sprint if she gets made jump. But she'll be cleaning herself and I'll walk in so she won't, she wouldn't have noticed me and I'll be speaking. And again, as soon as she sees me, she'll jump and she'll run. She doesn't react to like me shaking her treats, only when she can see that I'm shaking them. Or if I sit down, she knows she's getting a treat. So yeah, bless her, I don't think she can hear, which makes me sad. It makes me think, can you even hear my voice? But obviously she's a rescue, so we don't know much about her. But she's fine. She knows different actions, if that's what she goes off and she doesn't hear. Like, I've got her treats. matter today <laughs> it's definitely time to take these out i don't feel positive about it i don't see how this is gonna look nice considering the rest of my hair looks like this i've just been chilling with lady for like an hour because i noticed a bit of blood on the floor and i was like what the heck is that when i looked at her paws i could see some blood around it and it was dried, so luckily it's not still bleeding. It must have been when I walked in this morning, I made her jump and then she sprinted across the floor. She must have caught her nail. It just makes me feel awful. Like I know accidents happen and I wouldn't say her claws are super long at the moment either. It doesn't look like there's been any major damage to the nail. She's still eating. She seems like her normal self, but I'm just gonna keep an eye on her. And if she stops doing normal things, then I will take her to the vets on Monday. But obviously right now it's Saturday, so I can't take her to do it anyway but it just makes me feel really bad being a mum <laughs> and knowing that this innocent creature's health like it's all down to me and also I know this bunny like the back of my hand and anything abnormal I always look into or note she's literally my little girl but anyway she seems to be fine at the moment so that's the positive thing let's take this out and see what <laughs> let's see what happens I just don't think this is gonna work uh, no, that did not work. I think my hair's way too thick. There's volume, but it's because I used volume mousse on it last night. So that's the only reason why it looks quite voluminous. <laughs> so that's a little bit annoying, but you've got to try these things, don't you? It's really not my day today. I just knocked the camera off my desk and the lens was like lopsided and my dad had to just like snap it back into place. So I'm happy we're still working. My little girl's doing okay. She's up there with her bun friend. She's still looking at her little paw though. I went downstairs, got some scissors and made myself a cup of tea. And yes, I'm still using the Christmas mug because this one's huge. I only ever really crave a tea in the evening. So it's quite rare that I'm craving it right now at half 12 in the afternoon. <laughs> Where did I put the scissors now then? <sighs> They're up there. So I'm just gonna cut the strip. And then literally all you do is you gently pull it apart like that and then you have two strips and then you basically just start waxing and i find these ones are the best ones that i've tried but i'm just gonna pop that there really push it in you pull upwards three two one and it literally doesn't hurt so that's pulled off the hairs from that strip <laughs> so we just do that the whole way around another parcel apparently got it might as well open it now and see what this is. I feel like it's so depressing when you haven't got something coming in the mail. I know that's a bad excuse to spend money, but like it's just a big part of life that I live for. <laughs> just ex the excitement of something coming in the mail on that day. Let's see what this is. <gasps> as if. I've got some perfumes. Okay, so it says Jade with compliments. Delighted to introduce you to a range of brands including Edenist and Perfumes. Perfume, perfumes, <laughs> D Marley. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Best team, 
Joel Walker. Thank you so much, guys. That is so cute. I was not expecting to receive that today. So what have we got? We have this, which looks so fancy. This is the puff. I can't say it very well. Puff Yum Perfumes de Mali Paris. It's in Deli. Delina, Delina. This has come at the perfect time because obviously I'm going to the 21st birthday tonight and it's always nice to smell amazing. An iconic addictive scent with notes of rose and, and lychee. Lychee. I'm nervous because I'm very particular with my perfumes. I can kind of smell it. Oh, it's such a gorgeous bottle. Oh my goodness. Look at that bottle. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, wow. At first, I wasn't so sure, because you know when you can kind of smell it through the box, you know, like, hmm, because it does smell a lot like rose. That smells expensive, with a hint of girly. So that's like the most gorgeous little bottle ever. Like, I'm definitely only using this on special occasions, because that is stunning. So thank you so much. Even once I use this up, I'm never getting rid of this bottle. We also have a sample. Um, this one's called Darcy. It says, opens with a sunny, sweet aroma of bergamot, bergamot orange, and citrus. A sensual bouquet of rose and jasmine is found at the heart, enveloped in delicate white musk. That's lovely. I feel like my mum would love that. Mm, it smells like something I've smelt before, actually. And then we also have been spoiled with another perfume, and this is called Jasmine Crawl, which I love jasmine, so I have high hopes for this. And this is from the brand Edenist. Ooh, another little fancy bottle. Okay, I'm holding out good hopes for this. Mmm lovely as well that smells like a little bit almost coconutty i don't even know if this has any coconut in i don't know which one i prefer i literally love both of them so much so i am beyond grateful for these like what a lovely little gift so thank you so much i can't wait to wear one of these tonight just went down to speak to my dad and i completely forgot about my tea so now it's like lukewarm anyway back to waxing the brows i just feel so clean with nice fresh brows also those perfumes smell incredible. Like now they've kind of settled into my skin. They're both insane. They almost smell quite similar, but like the Edenist one smells more like slightly coconutty. I don't know if coconut's even in the notes, but they both kind of give similar vibes, which I love. Okay, this bit hurts a little bit more. Three, two, one. Those were good. But look how much came out. Okay, so that is majority of the waxing done but i need to tidy it up with some tweezers okay and then we're red for a bit looking crazy i also got this in the post today and i'm loving boohoo at the moment like boohoo basics are just incredible i also ordered this coat um it was like a black aviator looked so expensive i think it was like 80 pounds and then there was a 30 percent off so i got it for about 50 odd but when i ordered it it was just way too big and my parents said i looked silly so we had to pop that back so that should come in the next couple of days, but I wanted some black jeans because the ones I have just cut off really weird and I think they shrunk in the wash. So I wanted to try Boohoo jeans. She wanted some blue jeans as well. So let's start. So I've got some high rise wide leg jeans. I also liked that it was kind of this washed black rather than just like black black. I feel like washed black just looks so much nicer. These ones are a no and I even sized up and they're still like really tight. They're just like super tight here. I kind of prefer my jeans to be like tight at the top and then just start bagging out from like here. I know you can't see but they also cut off at a really weird angle. So these are going back. These just look the same. Nope. And they just cut off. They're not long enough. I'm not even going to bother trying these ones on because they are the same as these just different color it's a shame but it's fine i'll just keep looking for some black jeans i really want some levi's but they are just a little bit more on the expensive side aren't they so that was not successful but it's fine i want to go and make some lunch now because i'm starving so i'm gonna literally so i'm gonna oh my god there's a spider in my room he's quite big if you're afraid of spiders then i wouldn't recommend watching this because i'm going to show you he needs to go like sir leave just put the spider outside i use a little candle and a birthday card um because as much as i'm not a big i'm not the biggest fan of spiders and they do freak me out a little bit and knowing he was in here whilst i was sleeping it's kind of giving me the ick <laughs> i will never kill a spider because they're little living things and why should i take their life just because they spook me out when they're tiny and they've never hurt me i also found a tiny little one as well so i don't know if they're related 
mother and son but i escorted him outside as well now i'm getting super conscious that there's gonna be a spider in her but anyway i'm trying to find my id because i want to go to home bargains and pick up some sort of beverage for tonight but i can't find it i couldn't find my id so i'm not going to home bargains i just need to start getting ready because it's nearly four o'clock also the sun i mean you can't really tell but it looks so lovely out there little ladybugs just playing so i think she's absolutely fine bless her heart so I officially think it's time to start getting ready. I'm going to start with hair. Also going to take this jumper off because I'm going to get way too hot. I don't really know what I want to do to my hair. I don't know if I want it curly, if I want like a blow dry vibe, or if I should just go with what I know, which is just straight. I'm also going to film a little get ready with me for TikTok as well. So I'm going to get the straighteners. So I'm literally just going to use some straighteners and then I might um, try and do some like flicks inwards. Not that I have loads of layers. I do have layers left. And then I might just put like a hot roller at the top just to give my hair some more volume. I don't know if this is going to work or not. So I'm going to start just with this back piece and I'm just going to like just go over it. Oh, and then at the bottom. Oh, no, that was a bit too much. I'm gonna use my Sam McKnight heat protection spray. It doesn't really flick up how I want. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck is that? I might just straighten it, you know? Bit of hairspray. I just realized I've forgotten to even tweeze my brows so they don't even look as good as they could. Okay, that's better. I'm filming the Get Ready With Me on TikTok, so I will see you when I'm ready. Oh, We're yeah. ready. Hi, Jordan, in the back. I've done my makeup. This is my little outfit. Everyone's here. Boots. Are you drinking in the I feel like I look weird from the side though. But this is me, so I'll try and vlog as much as I can tonight and then I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, thank you. You love the bean bag, don't you? Oh, thank you. Go, 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 go!